This video will demonstrate how to configure the Boundmaster 600 in pitch catch mode to detect this bounce in honeycomb composites. The pitch catch mode of the Boundmaster 600 subdivides in RF, impulse and swept methods. All methods can be used with the same probe. Configuring the Boundmaster 600 for general purpose this bound detection is very easy. Simply connect the pitch catch probe and press continue. Select the first application that is named skin to core disbounds flat. Select the proper test frequency as recommended by either the original part manufacturer or the inspection procedure. Use the reference standard. It is very important to understand where the reference defects are on the standard. Use the standard drawing and mark defects as needed. Put the probe on an area free of defects on the standard and maintain the probe tips over the area. Press the gain key. Adjust the gain so that the RF signal does not exceed two vertical divisions high. A total of one division high is generally a good start. Keep the probe on the same area and press the NULL key. Slowly scan over the disbound in order to confirm detection. Set the RF display to IMPULSE if you prefer to visualize the signals this way. Press the RUN key until your preferred display is shown. If your reference standard has more than one disbound, Scan all defects and optimize the XY gains and angle as needed. Finally, press the full key. The readings show the live amplitude and phase of the flying dot position which can be used as an aid to identify near-side from far-side defects. The pitch catch swept method is great to detect these bounds in tapered honeycomb composites or in aluminum core composites. Press the advanced setup key and then application selection. Select the skin to core tapered application. If desired, change the start frequency and the stop frequency as recommended by the part manufacturer or the procedure. Put the probe on the defect-free area of the reference standard and press the gain key. Adjust the gain to maintain the signals within the alarm box. Ideally, adjust the signal to two divisions. Scan the disbound and validate the detection. Adjust the swept rate as needed. A lower swept rate will provide better quality signals, while a faster swept rate will allow faster scanning. On some more difficult applications, such as with thicker skins or assemblies, the basic settings of pitch catch RF or impulse may not be satisfactory. There is a simple approach to quickly obtain the best signals for more difficult applications. First, perform a basic pitch catch RF setup as explained previously in this video. If you believe you have finished, but the signals do not look satisfactory, follow these steps. Make sure to display the RF signal as RF and not impulse. The RF display is preferred as each signal oscillation can be seen. Put the probe on a defect-free area and maintain it. Set the width in order to visualize only one signal reflection. Typically, only the first sound reflection has true interest and subsequent reflections show less stability and repeatability. Adjust the gain as needed. Press the NULL key while keeping the probe on a defect-free area. Press and hold the save key until a short beep is heard. The signal will be displayed in the background. This is the reference signal. Move the probe over the defect and hold it there. Using the knob, adjust the gate. Locate the position where the disbound signal amplitude differs the most from the reference signal. 
This is normally at the signal peak, but the best results can sometimes be obtained before or after the signal peak. Scan the reference standard and ensure that the disbound is reliably detected. Optimize the XY view as needed. We hope you enjoyed this instructional video on how to configure the Boundmaster 600 for pitch catch mode on the Honeycomb Composites. For more information on the Olympus bound testing solutions, contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.